best things always come in pairs like shoes or earrings or nice chairs like buy one get one goldfish or wedding rings like cool pants or glasses or things always make you cry from laughing or smiling or being tired hi my name is sophia camille i'm a singer songwriter and i'm from winter garden florida but i live in tallahassee now and i'm 24 years old 
The music scene has been a really awesome community to become a, a musician. Um, I didn't really write or perform my own music before I came here, but uh, once I did, I was super encouraged by my classmates at the College of Music and by other musicians that I met in town, and I started playing shows. And I think the community is a big reason why I kept doing it, because it was so fun and it was so supportive and eclectic. Like, there's so many different genres of people you can play shows with, like it'll be me and I'll play something pop and then it'll be a soul band and then it'll be a, a punk band and it was just really cool. I've always loved music for as long as I can remember. Um, when I went to school, I was always in choir. I always liked to sing. I was in musical theater. I wrote, I, put, I used to put on little shows for my mom and my brother. Um, when we were young, I'd be like, happy Mother's Day. Here's a concert of me singing five songs for you. <laughs> um, and so I think I just always followed what I love to do the most, and that was always the most fun thing for me. When I first started writing, it was a lot of, about a lot of the relationships that I was in um, or the places that I've been. So you, you might, well, you'll notice in my music a lot of the song titles are like city names, like Chicago, San Francisco, or whatever, because I'm really inspired by traveling and going to new places and meeting new people. As of recent, though, I've started writing songs about other people's lives, which my friends, you know, have a love-hate relationship with because they'll tell me a story and then I'll just write a song about it. My goal in music is always um, for people to leave changed, having heard whatever music is made. And so I think that's a reason why I've chosen to pursue music in my life is because one day I was listening to an album and everything that I had thought about my life at the time was completely changed because of the words and the music that I heard through this album. And like from that moment forward, I was like, this is how I want people to receive my music, that I can make something that's truthful or meaningful enough that they'll listen to it and hopefully leave either more healed or more joyful or just happier because of it. I'm working on my first album right now. Uh, and it's set to release at the end of this year. And so it's all written, it just needs to be recorded or finished recording and, and produced. And so that's kind of what my main focus is. I just finished my first tour ever. Um, we went all up and down the East Coast. And so that was really fun too. Um, so that, my goal with that was just to um, kind of start in Tallahassee and then expand beyond. And then now my shift is kind of towards working on this album. People can find me on all streaming platforms and all social media. Social media, I'm Sophia Camille Music. Sophia with an F, Camille with two L's, music. And then on streaming platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, I'm just Sophia Camille. The experience has been really fun. I definitely think it's one of the more professional things, recordings that um, I've done. And so it's cool um, to be a part of, to be a part of something like this. said you didn't want to and said you're having a from could you see how that would drive me crazy thought i was all right now there's nothing i haven't tried to make But you never could see clearly And you always get in too deep And you change your mind delusion Only feeling tired But you're just scared of what went right Breaking down my peace of mind I be sleeping
I don't want you, I know you know, I know 